Yesterday, we hopped onto a one and a half hour train ride from Munich and headed to Garmisch Partenkirchen, a gorgeous mountain town located in the Bavarian Alps. This year round paradise is known for its beautiful hikes, winter activities, Bavarian architecture, and mountain views. And after spending all day yesterday on the Zugspitze, the highest mountain in Germany, we're spending the next few days exploring in and around the town itself. And we're kicking things off at the Partnock Gorge. This is just something I never would have expected to see here in Germany. We're taking a 20 minute bus ride to the start of the gorge and one neat thing about staying here is that the daily tourist tax you pay with your accommodation includes a bus pass for many of the local buses. The bus drops you off right by this Olympic ski jump, which is where the Winter Olympics took place in 1936. In fact, while the town is now called Garmisch Partenkirchen, it actually used to be two separate towns, but they were forced to merge for the Olympics. But from here, it should only be about a 20 minute walk or so to the entrance of the gorge. To get in the gorge, you go through this tunnel, so we're not even in it yet, and it is already so cool. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Wow. Woo this is beautiful. This 699 meter long gorge has been formed over time by the Partnock River, whose bright blue waters still rush through its 86 meter tall walls. It became a national landmark back in 1912, but at that time, people had to risk their lives to go through the gorge. Thankfully, there is now an easy paved walkway that takes you along the water. The water falling here is so pretty and I love how it's collecting on the rock face there and then just like instantly turning to ice and icicles. We've seen photos from later in the winter when all of the walls are just completely covered in ice. It's just one big icicle in here. I can't stop freaking out about this place. This is just something I never would have expected to see here in Germany. It's like an adventure walking through here. You're ducking under ledges, there's water falling, ice falling. I'm just waiting for a rock to fall on my head. And this is all just in the first five minutes. I feel like Indiana Jones going through all of these tunnels. section it's almost like a cave we have made it to as far as that we are able to go to today but man that was so much longer than I thought it would be we kept thinking we were done and we kept going and going and going and one really nice thing about this gorge is that you have to go back the same way you came, so we get to go back through the gorge to leave. That gorge was one of the things I was most excited about, not only in this area, but in all of Germany. And actually the last couple weeks it's been closed due to storm damage. So we didn't think we were gonna be able to go, but today was the first day that it was back open and we just feel so lucky that we got to experience it. I had very, very high expectations for it and it completely exceeded them. We still have two days left here, but between this and Zugspitze, I'm already completely in love with this place. Oh 
Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> We have made it back into town, and for lunch we are having a Bavarian staple Schweinsaxa, which is roasted pork knuckle. Look at this monstrosity. <laughs> oh my gosh. It also came with sauerkraut, mustard, this maybe horseradish, a little salad over here, and then a potato dumpling. I just love the presentation also. It's so pretty with the German flag, and then this plate is super cool. It looks like it's hand carved. I don't know how to pick this up. Oh my gosh, this is so heavy. It's nice and crispy on the outside. Oh, that oh. Don't even know where to start. I mm. hear the crunch from mm -hmm. here. Like a chicharrone on the outside, crispy pork skin. Pork is so juicy. Mm. That's amazing. Oh my gosh, heaven. Mm. We learned our lesson with the schnitzel in Munich and we're sharing this one because we knew it was going to be pretty big. We also got a pumpkin soup to start and it was insanely delicious. Everything here is just beautiful. The presentation of the food is so beautiful. Oh my gosh. Just imagine the most perfectly crispy pork and that is exactly what this is. This feels like a meal fit for a Bavarian king. Huzzah! Huzzah! Garmisch Partenkirchen and feels exactly like what we thought Germany, especially Bavaria, would be like. When we lived in Seattle, we used to go to a town called Leavenworth often, which was Bavarian themed and pretty amazing. But getting to experience the real deal is so much better. We're currently walking around the Garmisch side of town, which is the more modern side. But even though it's starting to rain quite a bit, we're gonna head over to the Partenkirchen side, which we hear is even more charming. Okay, everyone was right. It is even cuter over here. There's a bratwurst, beer, milk, eggs, vending machine right in the middle of town. Does it get more German than that? This part of town feels much less touristy and a bit more of a traditional feel, and I just love all the colorful buildings with all the murals on them. These are called Luftelmalerei, which tell different stories like from fairy tales, medieval times, or more personal stories to the building owners. Yesterday didn't go exactly how we had hoped. We planned to go walk around Lake Ibsi, but a storm rolled in and it was a complete washout. We didn't think it was worth the trek to get over there, so we had a chill day instead. We grabbed coffee and pastries at Wild Cafe, a coffee shop right by our Airbnb, and then watched movies and played games, which was a ton of fun. But today is our last day here and we're not gonna let the still lingering crappy weather stop us. Garmisch Partenkirchen is home to a bunch of mountain huts that serve food and drinks. So today our plan is to hike to the Tenenhuta, which should be about four miles round trip. Mountain huts are one of my favorite things about Europe. When we visited the Dolomites a few years ago, one of my favorite memories was going hut hopping and getting pastries and drinks at different huts. It makes the uphill climb so much more worth it knowing that you have something delicious waiting for you at the end. Is so bouncy kind of scary because you can see straight to the bottom oh yeah <laughs> that is quite a drop don't look down <laughs> At first the door would not open and we were like, no, we just walked all the way up here and we can't even get food. But thankfully the door was just messing up and we're in. And they have a fire. Yes. Oh, that's so good. 
This hut is super nice. It's much more modern than the other mountain huts in the area. And even on a pretty gloomy day, you still have sweeping views of the area. We're here for one food item in particular, but before we get that, we're trying a few other things, including Almdudler, which is this carbonated drink that has some interesting ingredients. It's from Austria. Alpine herbs, beet sugar, citric acid, and soda water. Doesn't really smell like much of anything. Oh, that's really good. It's very lightly carbonated, so it's not really like a soda. Kind of just tastes like a good sparkling cider. We also got a potato soup and a Kaisa Spetzla. This one looks like the best one we've seen yet. Oh, looks so crazy. Oh my gosh. That is ridiculous. So cheesy. The noodles, the perfect texture, and the crunchy onions. It's so rich and creamy. Oh my gosh. That was good. <laughs> yes. So, this is the reason we came here. This is Kaiserschmarrn, which is an Austrian dessert. It's basically these sweetened, kind of like pancakes with powdered sugar. And then this one came with applesauce. And she said that we can just dip it in the applesauce, and it looks so good. It looks very, very moist. Mm. Oh my gosh, yeah. That's so good. It's kind of like spongy but also a little crispy and it's very hot. And the mix with the cold applesauce, it's like a interesting temperature thing going on. Mm. Oh my gosh. It's kind of like a little underdone, so it's super moist. And I gooey love, almost. Yeah, gooey. I kid you not, I've been looking forward to this for probably six months ever since I found out it existed. And this alone was worth hiking up in the pouring rain. <laughs> so good. The family does not like the suspension bridge. <laughs> It's 12.30 and we have about four hours of daylight left and we just checked the Lake Ipsy webcam and it seems like the weather is clearing up a bit. So we're gonna head back down to town, jump on the cogwheel train and go check it out. Well, so it turns out the train is not running to Lake Ipsy today because of weather further up the mountain. And this late in the day, there's really no other way for us to get there without having a car. So we will not be going to Lake Ipsy, which I am a little bummed about because I really wanted to see it. but. Even without the lake, we had such an amazing time here in Garmisch Park and Kirken. I loved everything about this place. The epic mountain scenery, the really cool architecture, the food. There's just so much to do here. I loved everything. <laughs> it was magical here, and I think visiting in the winter made it even more magical. But we will 100% be coming back here in the summertime because there are so many trails that we want to hike. Next time, we're going to hike up to Zug, Zug Spitz, Spitza. Yeah. We're going to hike all the way to the top, and I'm going to finally see that lake. I'm determined. I'm going to see, see Lake Ibsi from ground level someday. <laughs> but tomorrow, we are saying goodbye to Catherine's family, and we're heading to our final destination here in Germany, and it should be straight out of a fairy tale. <laughs> Also, do you like my Mickey Mouse umbrella? We had to buy this in Munich during the Christmas market because we didn't bring our umbrella and it was raining. We did the same thing. It's a video.